welcome back to another video from the What You Ewan's Doing Football channel. Yes, you have read this title right. We have another charity bargain hunt videos for all football tops that are found in charity shops. Now, this is starting to become a really favourable series in my opinion. It's quite enjoyable for myself and judging by the views that I've had on the previous charity shop or the bargain hunt videos, you guys seem to enjoy them as well. So we'll try and keep doing as much as we can throughout the near future. So for this particular video in some charity shops we have found four shirts and three of which being we found in one day and in the one shop. Which for me personally like it's quite unheard of like you know I mean I know I've only relatively just started as well but for the fact that I was managed to find three tops all in the same shop and for this particular day I wasn't even planning to go out and buy football tops or try and search for um, some football tops in some charity shops I literally just, just went in just to have a quick look I found one and then I found another two just sitting right at the back of the rail and I thought oh, what a buy and I'm hoping that you'll enjoy them as much as I did so as usual we will go through the ships one by one I will tell you what the valuation is and then I'll sort of give my sort of personal opinion of what, of what the valuation is on the strips and we will tell you what I paid for the strips in these charity shops. So without wasting time, let's get to it. So for this first strip, we only found this one on one particular day and I was in kind of two minds about it but at the same time I thought it's actually quite a good find as well, especially if you are a Rangers fan and it is this one here, it is the Rangers third kit from 2007-8 season. Now, like I said, with me uh, the being a Hearts fan, I was kind of in two minds about it, but at the same time, when I got it and then when I did a bit of research on it back at home, um, like I said before, it was their third kit, which kind of tells me that it probably wouldn't have been worn that much throughout their season campaign. Um, and again, like from a sort of like, you know, neutrals perspective, I mean, I don't think it's too bad. It's probably not my cup of tea as such. Obviously with me uh, being a Hearts fan, it's obviously not going to excite me too much. But again, for what we pay for it, which I will tell you in a second, like, like you know, you can't complain at all. And I think for any Rangers fan to own this, I think they would probably be quite happy to have this in their sort of uh, the collection. So yeah, I didn't think it was too bad a buy. So for the strip, again, we went by our usual valuation website on classic football shirts and they had this shirt in a extra large in a very good condition. Now, I would probably say that this is in very good condition as well. There's no pulls or tears on it as such. And this is actually in a large size and they have it on their website for $44.99. Now, again, in my sort of retrospective view if I were to maybe put this on eBay for example I'd I'd maybe expect to get maybe like maybe 20 or 25 pounds as such but again we'll go down to the lower scale as always and I would say maybe I maybe get 20 pounds maybe on a good day 25 but we'll stick to 20 for now so again for this football strip again I will put a picture up next to the screen but we only paid three pounds for this Ranger strip. Now again, on a good day, you would probably get a good price for this online, um, but to only pay three pounds and have a shirt that's worth on classic football strips, like 45 pound, but like I said beforehand, to actually sell it, you'd probably get maybe about 20 or 25, but as such, I think it's quite a not bad find. And to start off the video again, not too bad at all. So it was not a bad wee find. So for this next one, uh, I did get a wee clip when I was in the charity shops on this day. Now this was the same day that we found all three strips in this one shop. And the first strip that you can see just on the screen just now, it is this one. It is the Liverpool home strip from 2012-13 season. Now again, with me being a Chelsea fan, like I wasn't overly excited about this, but Again, it's not like a bad strip at all. Um, I don't know if I'm right in saying, I don't know if this was the same season as the infamous slip from Steven Gerrard that like, you know, debatably cost them the Premier League title. Um, but but like, I'm not too sure, I'm not too bothered about it. But just to find a Liverpool strip 
especially where I stay as well. It's not a huge sort of town, but like I don't like I was like I was a bit shocked when I found it. So yeah, I did not think that this was a bad find at all. So this is in a large size, and in terms of its condition, I would say it's in. I'd say it's kind of borderline good slash very good and um, like you know there's some there's there's like a very slight fading on the standard charge sponsor and um, apart from that there's no pulls or any tears as such on the strip so again not a bad wee find so again going through our website classic football strips uh, the only one that i could find was in a small size and in good condition and they had it on there for only 19.99 which in either case, I think if you were to buy this online for £20 for a good condition, I mean, I'd say that's probably reasonable, but for this one, like we said beforehand, it's in a large size, it's kind of on that at the borderline where it's in good slash very good condition, and we only paid for, again, I will put it on next to the screen with the picture, we only paid £3.50 for this Liverpool home strip. Now, Again, I am not going to complain at all. You know, it's a Premier League team, and um, especially for such a team as Liverpool as well. Like, you know, for £3.50, again, if I were to put this on to eBay, maybe you'd look at maybe 10, possibly £15. So again, it's not to say that I'm going to put all these strips online to sell them for like a profit. Like I've said many a time, this is not why I do this it's just generally because i love football strips in general but i'll probably keep this as part of my collection only for the reason that like as you can see from the the background i like to get a lot of strips and then put name sets on the at the back specifically more like sort of famous players so i may partake in maybe getting gerard on the back of this at some point but again for three pound fifty absolute bargain so Keep your eye if you if you're in charity shops as such because like everyone knows and everyone at some point has bought an absolute bargain at some point in terms of football strips and this particular trip has probably been my most successful one so far but again i will let you be the judge of that once you've watched the end of the video so we're going to go on to the next one and this one is my english team as such and it is this one it is the Chelsea home strip in a medium size from 2017-18 season. Now, after doing some research about um, Chelsea's season from 2017-18, um, to be fair, it was pretty dismal from Chelsea standards. They finished fifth in the Premier League that season, but they did win the FA Cup, so, I mean, that doesn't kind of make up for it, but it wasn't a particularly good season. But all things considered, it is a very basic Chelsea strip, there's not much going on in terms of its actual design as such but it's very standard but still very nice at the same time. So as always going via classic football strips for its valuation, uh, there's not a particular size on there but I managed to find one on their website and they have it advertised from $64.99 down to $44.99. Now again in terms of its valuation price, um, I would probably say it's, I wouldn't say it's reasonable considering the season that Chelsea had, but again, what I like to actually do, if you're going to put a name set on it, obviously Chelsea would have a variety of world class uh, players that you could put onto the strips. So from that aspect, I'm quite happy. So for this Chelsea strip, this was the most expensive one out of the four and we paid £7.50 for it. Now again, if I were to only find this particular top, I would still be quite happy with that. Like, you know, because that's when I even go to eBay to try and find tops, if I'm going to pay £7 odds plus the postage on top, which on average is about £3, you know, you're still spending £10. So I would say that's pretty reasonable for like, you know, for what you pay in a charity shop as well. And I think most people would agree, not knowing what you might find in a charity shop and then when you do actually find something, you get a bit more of a buzz about it. Like, you know, as opposed to buying something on eBay when you already know what you're trying to go after. And obviously, you know, if I was on eBay, I wouldn't necessarily look specifically for 
like a Rangers top or a Liverpool top, etc. But again, just to find these in a charity shop, all in the actual one place, literally two minutes away from where I stay, you know, you get a wee buzz from it. So I was really happy with my finds so, so far. And considering the Chelsea trip, again, it's in really good condition. Um, no pulls or tears like I said beforehand it's in a medium size again the most sought after size uh, in my opinion for football shirts so from my opinion I would probably maybe say I would get maybe 20 or 25 for this so again really good bargain buy and it was really uh, surprising to find a Chelsea strip inside a charity shop so again always happy so with the last one it's probably going to be very controversial in terms of me being a Chelsea fan as such but for what the top actually was and how relatively new it is as well I was really shocked to actually find it plus the price I paid for it as well so the, the last top we found was Chelsea's rivals in London as well it is the Tottenham away strip from 2019-20 season now to find essentially a brand new top i'm like i'm gonna go far as say is that it is in an excellent condition now obviously you know when it comes to rivalries down in england i'm not too concerned about like you know if i see like you know an arsenal or a tottenham shirt like you know considering i do support chelsea but the fact that i was managed to find this especially just from last season technically and it is in a really really excellent condition and the design again it's relatively simple but obviously on the top half you've got this sort of very psychedelic sort of um design on the um top half of the strip there and yeah i think it's actually quite a smart strip as well i will not lie and again in terms of putting name sets on it obviously again like you know from that season you've got Harry Kane, you've got Son, you've got Christian Eriksen as well, so there would be a variety of uh, the players' names that I actually put on this, which for all of these strips I will probably do in time. So again, I was I was stunned at the fact that I was managed to, to, to find this Tottenham top, Chelsea and Liverpool top, all in the one day, never mind in one shop. It was absolutely buzzing, so I was really happy with this purchase as well as the other two. So again, we consulted classic football strips and they didn't actually have this top on their website. But just going through some of the sort of basic prices that I found for the strip. Like, you know, there was a website called the Colt Kits. They had it in a small size, brand new. They were selling it for £30. Uh, there was one website called XL Sports. They, they were selling it for £45. So I guess it kind of depends what the website you actually go on to. Um, but again, if I were to sell this, I mean, it looks practically brand new. Excellent condition as well. It's in a medium size. Uh, or if I, I'll just double check that. Is it a medium size? Yes, it is a medium size. So in retrospect, I would probably maybe expect to get about maybe 20 or 25 pounds for this on a good day. So I think that's relatively reasonable as well. And for what we paid for it, again, pictures is always at the side we only paid six pounds for this essentially brand new Tottenham top now including the Ranger strip all in all we paid 20 pounds for four strips that are all a very good condition or above and there would be no doubt that we would get our uh, money back for these strips including a bit of profit as well but I don't intend to sell these strips again, but just for, for the fact that I found four strips all in my same town, relatively close to each other as well, I think that was an absolute solid day. So yeah, like I said beforehand, most days you probably won't find anything in charity shop. I found these strips maybe after maybe four weeks of searching and this was not only just in my town, but I went to all the surrounding areas as well and even after searching like after 20 shops i didn't find a thing but it can happen and even if you don't even plan to go out and try and find football tops much like i did um 
Like I said, I was just passing by and I thought, yeah, I'll look. And then I ended up with three tops on the same day. So even if you don't plan to go out and try and find football tops, even if you're just passing by a charity shop, have a wee look and you never know what you might find. So once again, guys, thank you very much for watching this charity shop bargain hunting video. As always, I do really appreciate all the support from all you guys as well. It's always really appreciated. So as always, thank you very much. And if you are new to the channel, please think about subscribing and smash that like button as well. And I know I've said it about five times already, but as always, I do appreciate all the brand new subscribers as well and all the likes that are put on to the, uh, the videos as well. So thank you very much again, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye for now.